Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Blue Star Defense 5 Deluxe Edition. In this episode I am still doing the medium reverse uh, <laughs> series thing. Uh, so what stage shall we play today? And again I say we, when I should say I, because I'm the one playing. Alright, so the jungle. Uh, this is going to be pretty much the same <laughs> as the last time I played it, uh, just because the level is so symmetrical that it's going to be pretty similar. Although actually, yeah, it might actually be a bit uh, quicker, I guess you could say, and actually uh, I want to use something different than I did last time. But yeah, I'll like use a ninja monkey first. Alright, so uh, this might actually be a little bit quicker, not necessarily easier. Uh, than last time, just because now the balloons are coming from the uh, closer side, the closer lane, I guess you could say. Uh, so the balloons will get into my range faster, and I'll be able to pop them faster, obviously, and then uh, do all that. So, Ninja Monkey might not have been the best choice, because it does have a good attack rate, but it's a lot better early on as a piercing lane buster. But now it has to shoot back and forth and only get like one, maybe two balloons per shot. Uh, but I will be put giving it the Seeking Shuriken before I give it the um, Piercing upgrade. Because right now the Seeking Shuriken might be a little better. And yeah, I'm already going to be missing or leaking a few. Uh, so that's kind of lame. But I could have just used a Road Spike or maybe even just start off with a Boomerang Thrower. Or maybe just like two dart throwers, or dart monkeys, but anyways, I should uh, get that upgrade as soon as I have it, um, or have enough. Alright, so again, I don't mind leaking a few, as long as I'm not leaking like, you know, 200. That'd be terrible. And that'd be a really bad, uh, <laughs> like, bad omen if I just lost this round uh, because of those few lives that I'm leaking. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, now I'm thinking this wasn't a good idea. Uh... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna sell one. Oh, well, I mean, I only had one, but I'm gonna try buying two. See if that's uh, helpful. Uh, so that now I've got two to attack on each side. That way, uh, I don't have to worry about them changing direction and trying to have a fast enough attack rate to get both sides evenly. Uh, having two helps. Uh, split the load, I guess, since the balloons are coming from both sides. Even though it's the same amount of balloons as if they were coming from one side, but having to switch directions to attack each one individually uh, does make it harder for one tower. So it's pretty interesting the way it does that, how it takes uh, twice as many towers to defeat the same amount of balloons, pretty much. Um, so yeah, there's that. And also putting them closer to the actual track might make it easier for them to pop balloons, yeah, like that, where they can reach onto the other side. Uh, so that would be helpful with those few leaks that I have. Uh, right, so I'm also obviously going to give them Seeking Shuriken because that's very helpful uh, no matter what side they're on. Which, <laughs> um, I keep wanting to sell them and move them different places now. Uh, let's see. I suppose that would be helpful. Um, after this round, I'll uh, move it. Alright. So I sell that one, and because I have Monkey Tycoon, like I say almost every time I sell stuff, uh, I'm not actually losing any money by moving them, or by selling and moving them. And, alright, there we go. That should be a little bit better, because now they have a little bit of lane uh, path busting. Uh, because of that angle that they're at, and I really prefer keeping things right in the middle uh, Just because it to me seems better, but I don't know if that's actually even a better idea All right. <clears throat> So uh, my next strategy I guess is the sharp shurikens so that, uh, <clears throat> Sorry about that uh, so that they can actually uh, pierce through more balloons and for Some reason this pops into my head right now, but uh Today, uh, in case you're not aware, I'm doing a bit of a Terraria giveaway thing, which I'll explain more in the actual video that if you are subscribed, you probably saw in your sub boxes, or if you're not subscribed, uh, you probably might not even know that I play Terraria. 
because uh, I don't always get the annotations done pretty quick. Uh, so some of you might see it before the annotations or just have annotations off. So you might not know that I played Terraria, although I'm pretty sure I did mention it on this channel for this episode series. But anyways, uh, doing a little giveaway um, because I'm pretty sure I hit 100 subscribers. Um, uh, there's like sort of conflicting data on like my analytics and uh, YouTube page and stuff, but I'm pretty sure I'm at 100 subscribers now. Um, so even if I'm not, I don't mind if I'm a few under, because uh, now the game's been out for a little bit, so a giveaway seems nice, I suppose. Um, but uh, anyways, just check out that video for how to win and all that. But back to balloons, which. That'd be kind of cool if I could do some kind of balloons giveaway where I could give away codes for the Deluxe Edition or something, but I don't actually have any codes for Deluxe Edition, and I don't really know how to uh, to do that. So, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so now I could just start giving them double shot, but it's already run 19, so I'm going to need something with um, lead popping. And for that, I'm going to use a wizard monkey, which is actually called an apprentice um, with the fireball spell upgrade uh, so that it actually can pop lead. And uh, it'll help out a little bit with the uh, balloon popping, but mostly it's there just for the lead. And when you give it monkey sense, then it can also help out with the camo balloons, even though the ninja monkeys can already pop, uh, can already pop camo balloons. And I'm starting to leak a few on top, so that's kind of lame. <laughs> I'm going to need better ninja monkeys, I guess, or more ninja monkeys, or just something else. And that's kind of the problem <laughs> that I have with the uh, distraction ability, is that occasionally it'll just blow back one balloon that I, I need to pop quicker so that I can get the round moving quicker. But uh, yeah, it's helpful mo most of the time, so I don't need to worry about it too much. And for some reason, I kind of started feeling feeling like, yeah, monkey apprentice, wizard monkeys, they're cool, I, I can use them, they're good. And then I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't rely too much on them. But uh, I don't know why. Uh, I guess just sort of like the inconsistency, I guess, with their attacks. Like they're not always attacking the same thing the, the whole time, so. I mean, they're, they're pretty consistent in <laughs> their attacks, but uh, it's just that slight randomness, even though it's not actually random, uh, just sort of bugs me, I guess, and makes me not want to rely on them too much. Plus, they're not exactly, like, an invincible super monkey or anything, uh, but they are pretty good. And, of course, I have to leak one. Uh, not have to, but you know what I mean. Alright, so, next, I guess I should work on ninja monkeys uh, a little bit more. Uh, not building more, I'll probably just keep it at two, but to get them the double shot, or maybe even flash bomb, but no, I'm gonna go double shot, because uh, it's cheaper and uh, more consistent, I guess, uh, which is why I enjoy it. Alright, so, what next? Uh, like I said, I guess just double shot, double, double shot, quadruple shot, bunjutsu, I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so yeah. Like I was kind of saying earlier, it'd be kind of cool if I did some kind of balloons giveaway. Uh, I'm also starting the Bloons Monkey City and Bloons Tower Event battles. Um, uh, let's play is today, but uh, I still have to record those uh, at the time that I'm recording this. I might post it before or after the video, I don't know, probably after. But anyways, uh, something else I should mention that uh, some of you might not necessarily care too much about, but um, uh, I'm posting a lot of videos, so... Uh, I'm actually not necessarily going to take a break from videos, but just uh, slow down because I really wanted to keep posting all of the videos every Monday through Friday, but I should probably start taking it like some series once a week. Bloops, I'll still keep doing once a day, or once uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, five videos a week, I guess. Uh, Bloops Monkey City, I do want to try for five a week. Uh, start Fence Battles should be easy to do five videos a week, uh, one a day, pretty much for the weekdays. Uh, Terraria, I still want to keep uh, Monday through Friday just because uh, it's a newer game and 
uh, more people are likely to start watching that or something. But uh, Mario, I think I, I'm just going to keep that uh, till once a week. And I'm almost done with it. I kind of want to just finish out this week and then just stop. But I think I should probably start slowing down now, I guess. Um, I'm still going to keep the uh, one half a world per episode. So uh, today, Monday, I'm going to finish World 7. And then next Monday, I'll start World 8. Uh, Dungeon Defenders... I don't want to do once a week because that's so slow. <laughs> like I'd be missing so much, I guess. But uh, um, I'm going to have to slow down a little bit and not do five a week. Uh, I might even just only slow down to four a week, but I'm still not sure about that. Um, what else? Twilight Princess, uh, Legend of Zelda. That I'm probably going to have to do one or twice a week. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, I'm just going to do one maybe two a week. And I think that's it as far as any other games. Uh, as far as starting up any other games, I'm probably going to wait until I finish some some of my own, or some of the games I'm already playing, uh, before I start uh, thinking too much about playing other games. But still, you could still leave suggestions on what games you want me to play, but uh, just remember that I'm probably not going to start them for a while. Uh, but when I do start thinking about what games I should play next, I will take those comments into consideration. Uh, and as far as Eden Eternal, uh, just because I don't see any other demand for me to play it, uh, and because I have so many other games I'm playing, uh, that's why I'm not playing it at the moment. Alright, so now, uh, as far as balloons, I'm actually going to start uh, placing some more towers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, oops, uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna go with Dragon Breath or Whirlwind uh, anytime soon. I think I'm just gonna stick with maybe five uh, Monkey Apprentices as just uh, two two uh, wizards. Uh, that way, they've got camo detection, they've got lead busting, they've got the lightning for crowd busting. I guess you could say. Um, so that's good, although now I really want to put more ninja monkeys in. Uh, yeah, I'll put in some ninja monkeys, uh, even though I said I was already done. But I am leaking uh, quite a few blooms, so uh, that's kind of lame. But uh, I'm sure I'll still win. Like, because I have 450 lives, I'm sure I'll still win, but if I get past 300 lives, then that means that I did technically lose because of the triple lives. Um, well, I didn't lose because of the triple lives, but I technically lost because now I do have triple lives, so if I didn't have triple lives, I would have lost if I lose more than 150 lives because that's how much you're supposed to start with. But anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, on one hand, it's kind of like, oh, you're using these deluxe upgrades, you're, like, cheating, you have an unfair advantage or whatever, but, I mean, on the other hand, I, I did actually, you know, get the monkey money to buy that upgrade, like... <laughs> It's not necessarily a cheat, like I worked for it, like, come on, but, um, I understand that obviously it is sort of like, it's not, I don't want to say cheating, because I'm not breaking any rules, it's just, I'm using a per performance enhancement upgrade, <laughs> I guess, I'm not sure if that's the best term to use, but, uh, so yeah, this is actually a little bit, uh, worrying, because I don't think I'm going to be able to pop that. I should try popping it earlier, and, uh, that's not good. <laughs> ah, great. So, yeah, that, that took me past 300, so, uh, alright, I lost, technically. <laughs> but again, because of those triple lives, technically, I did not lose. I'm still in the game. Uh, yeah, that's kind of lame. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I guess I should have seen that coming, since I know that Looking at my defenses, I don't really have very much uh, to beat Moabs, so uh, I don't really want to use bomb towers, but I guess that would be a good idea uh, because of increasing them to Moab Maulers. But I want to increase this other one to a Blinjitsu Monkey, that might have been enough, because I really just need to get through that Moab layer before they, it gets out of the range of the Ninja Monkey. I mean, obviously I need to destroy the whole thing before it gets out of the range of the Ninja Monkey, but specifically the Moab layer, because then I can use the, uh, the Balloon Jutsu and the Distraction combo to actually uh, bring the Ceramic Balloons back 
a little bit better. Uh, it didn't work that well this time, just because uh, it was so far away that I didn't get as many chances to attack it. But with the extra Bloom Dizzy Monkey, and I probably will throw in a Bomb Tower, uh, then that should be enough, I think. And uh, the Dragon's Breath would also be helpful against the Moab, but it's I'm not sure if it's more effective than the actual Moab Mauler, just because the Moab Mauler is specifically designed to destroy Moabs. Like, can't really get too much better than that. <laughs> Alright, so this one should be much better. Uh, I shouldn't leak too many, if any, so yeah, that's good. And the BFB is going to be a bigger problem, uh, obviously because it's bigger, it has more layers. So, uh, I do have some time before then. And the ninja monkeys, and the lightning, and now the bombs should be enough for things like round 63. But I'm actually going to get a little bit of like extra insurance by getting the cluster bombs. And I'm actually going to go for the balloon impact. I'm not sure if I've actually used cluster bombs, or especially not the balloon impact, uh, in any of these videos, just because I really don't like the bomb tower in general. Um, and one thing I think is interesting is that because you don't need to have the missile launcher to get the cluster bombs, the actual picture for the cluster bomb is the cannon and not the, uh, the actual missile. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but what the balloon impact does, in case you don't remember, is impacts from this tower become so violent, balloons become stunned for a short time when they are hit. Meaning um, it just kind of stops the balloons for a little bit. Uh, obviously when they're hit and uh, it's helpful for large clumps because then they'll be stunned while other balloons can or other towers can uh, do whatever they can to pop it. Uh, it's different from when you freeze a balloon because uh, with the ice tower if a balloon is frozen and then you pop it then it becomes unfrozen but uh, here, when they're stunned, they, I'm pretty sure they still stay stunned uh, for a little while, even if you're still popping layers off, uh, so that's a little bit more helpful. Uh, but they are stunned for a shorter amount of time than uh, freezing, so you can't stop them as long as uh, when you're freezing them, because uh, there's actual strategies developed around just stopping the flow of blooms with your ice towers. Which is pretty interesting, but then it just makes the game take longer and all that, so I don't want to worry too much about that. And, and just need that one more uh, balloon impact. And now I want to throw in more ninja monkeys just because I really enjoy the ninja monkeys. Alright, uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, just gonna throw in two, maybe three more on each side. or one, maybe two more on each side, uh, just to help out with that Moab layer. Um, but I should probably get more Moab ballers to deal with the PFP, because you saw how I did on these Moabs, so I'm not sure if this is enough for the BFP. Uh, definitely not enough for the ZOMG, because that thing is ridiculous, but uh, obviously right now it is enough for the Moab. Uh, partly because of the balloon impact to slow down the actual balloons that come out of it, and the ninja monkey ninjutsu distraction to uh, help get the balloons back towards the beginning of the track so you have more time to pop them. And the wizard monkey is always nice because of their lightning and fireball. Alright, so let's probably try using uh, some banana farms more often because uh, that always seems to be helpful, but. Again, because I have the healthy bananas, it gives me more lives, which I've already got triple lives, so... Yeah, there's that. But, oh well. I'm probably just going to place one more Ninja Monkey, and then, uh, try to think of what to do after that. Alright, what round was that? 60? Or, it was 59, so now we're on 60. Probably should have thought a little bit more about what I should do about the BFB. Uh, but, yeah, that seems to be doing okay, uh, because it moves slower and has a bigger hitbox, so the Moab Maulers have more time to actually hit it and pop it, uh, so that's good. Alright, 
and then with this one more Bunjutsu, that might be enough because I was able to defeat that BFB pretty easily and a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, uh, really, my next uh, struggle or uh, big moment, I guess, uh, big obstacle, <laughs> I don't know, uh, would be round 63. But I'm pretty confident with two balloon impacts, uh, two Moab Maulers for extra area effect, and uh, uh, ninja monkeys, uh, six balloon jutsu monkeys. Plus, because their balloon, the balloons are coming from two different sides or two different lanes, uh, they're gonna be less clumped together. Uh, still pretty tightly packed, but um, should be a little bit better. Uh, so that should be good. Um, yeah. That balloon impact is slowing them down long enough for the balloon jitsu monkeys to really get through them. And then also the balloon impact is helping get rid of the lead that usually um, are a big problem for the ninja monkeys. But they're doing alright this time. Alright, so uh, because I have enough money and I feel like it, <laughs> I'm going to use a super monkey. Um, and I'm not going to upgrade him, I'm just going to keep it as zero. What? I still lost balloon. <laughs> I mean, I still lost lives. Oh man. Alright, so this is uh, going to be a little bit more troublesome than I thought it was. Uh, so this is a pretty epic fail, I guess. I mean, I'm still, still alive. Uh, if, I, if I really had a game over uh, with um, uh, triple lives, then that'd be pretty bad. And actually, because I know I'm not going to have enough for a whole another super monkey, well, I might near the end of it, but. Um, I'm just going to increase the range on this one to help out a little bit more because I actually am a little bit worried on uh, how well this is actually going to work. Uh, so I definitely don't recommend the strategy uh, to anyone that doesn't have triple lives. Um, yeah, that <laughs> really wasn't a good idea because uh, I did lose quite a few lives, but I really was confident that uh, my strategy would have worked. Oh well. Uh, three Moabs, no big deal. Two BFBs kind of a big deal, but with the extra super monkey, uh, that should be okay. Because uh, it should help enough with uh, breaking the layer of uh, blimp. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, as long as you can break the Moab before they get too far, uh, then the Bloon Jitsu Monkey and Bloon Impact combo should be good enough. Alright, so, yeah, I did technically lose that, but I didn't actually lose that, so I know earlier in the series I, uh, I wanted some feedback on whether or not you think I should post uh, like episodes where if I do lose, do you want me just to scrap that episode and repost something where I actually do win? Um, but yeah, I did technically win that. So what do you think about that situation where now I have triple lives if I lose more than 150 lives but not 450? Uh, do you think that still counts? I think that's still good enough, but uh, it's up to you. Alright, so uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.